Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, private moon dust leaves auction at a half million dollars. Aero News and Airborne Uncrewed news teams will be covering Exponential. Home-built anniversaries to be celebrated at Oshkosh. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Private moon dust leaves auction at half million dollars. For the first time in years, privately held verified lunar samples went up for auction, topping $500,000 at last week's Bonhams auction. The sale was probably the best documented opportunity to add legitimate, authenticated lunar material to space enthusiasts' collection, not to mention the first one to come available in years. Lunar samples and moon material is held to be a national treasure by NASA, and the sample that reached auction was the beneficiary of their dogged pursuit to retain every last micron of moon dust they possibly can. Bonham's sample came from a contingency bag sold as government surplus to a Chicago area woman for $995. Suspecting she had come into something interesting, she sent the bag to NASA for testing to see whether or not it had retained microscopic moon dust. NASA confirmed the unique material pervading the bag with a range of lab equipment and refused to return it, saying it was sold in error. Legal disputes ultimately saw the bag ruled by a judge as rightful property of the woman and a later out-of-court settlement also resulted in the return of the dust samples. The bag itself went on to sell for $1.8 million at Sotheby's. Coming up after the break, TSA retains mask mandate. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Despite requests to sunset, TSA retains mask mandate. Leadership at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has decided to extend the mask recommendation originally set to expire on April 18th. Now the duration has been extended by 15 days, ostensibly to monitor for any observable increase in severe virus outcomes, not cases, as the most recent COVID-19 variant begins making the rounds in New York. The Transportation Security Administration heeded CDC recommendations and extended the requirement through May 3rd. And this just in, as we were preparing to close out today's episode of Airborne, we learned that a federal judge in Florida today struck down the Biden administration's mask mandate for airplanes and other public transportation methods. Big bucks! Air Force announces fiscal year 2022 aviation bonus. Eligible active duty aviators have from April 11th until August 31st to apply for the fiscal year 2022 aviation bonus. This year's AVB program builds upon previous year's offers to decisively shape and retain the rated force by providing specific eligible pilots, RPA pilots, air battle managers, and combat systems officers with monetary incentives in exchange for active duty service commitments. This provides reliable personnel forecast to continue executing the Air Force's warfighting mission. Boeing announces first quarter deliveries. The bulk of Boeing planes delivered once again came from the 737 series with 86 planes turned over to customers, with five from the increasingly aged 767. Only three 777s were delivered, not too far off pace for a normal month at the brand. The first quarter was not free of instability around the world, with Boeing admitting that more than 140 jet orders are now stuck in limbo due to the war in Ukraine. APA sues American Airlines. 
The Allied Pilots Association has filed a lawsuit against American Airlines over a program the company hoped would augment simulator staff with unpaid pilots using their time off. Their issue lies with a new company effort to forego the need for a second check airman in the simulator for cases of absence or illness through the use of unpaid volunteer seat fillers. For simulator training, a missing student would, in regular times, be replaced by another paid check airman, where they could take the place of the missing student for the duration of the other pilot's evaluation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Aero News and Airborne Uncrewed Teams to cover Exponential. The Aero News Network and its award-winning Airborne News team will be covering AUVSI's Exponential Conference in depth next week in Orlando, April 25th through 28th. ANN has been partnering with AUVSI for over four years on the weekly Airborne Uncrewed newscast, now seen all over the world via YouTube, Vimeo, Roku, Fire TV, and nearly 100 other syndication outlets. The Airborne Uncrewed program has been a pivotal video news programming series, producing hundreds of episodes and millions of views around the world. It's produced by the Aero News Network, the first online aviation news service, having pioneered the genre over a quarter century ago. Quote, the work with AUVSI has been quite gratifying and we take great pride in making sure that the Uncrewed community is covered extensively, expertly, and comprehensively. We have been documenting pivotal aviation history as it's being made and are delighted to continue our work with Brian Wynn's team as well as the many uncrewed community members we've worked with over the years. This year's XPO should be an eye-opener and we hope to develop some great stories for standalone features as well as future episodes of Airborne Uncrewed, end quote, noted Aero News Network CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell. The ANN News Crew invites the uncrewed community to reach out with story ideas or inquiries by reaching out to news at aero-news.net or by calling the newsroom at 863-299-8680. After these messages, home-built anniversaries to be celebrated at Oshkosh. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Home-built anniversaries to be celebrated at Oshkosh. This year's EAA AirVenture will see the celebration of a few popular and historic sport plane designs, and owners are invited to come celebrate in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The 69th annual fly-in will be the year's largest gathering of amateur-built aircraft in the world, bringing around 10,000 planes from around the world to gather with every part of the industry, from fellow pilots and owners to the designers and manufacturers themselves. This year, a series of anniversaries will take place, including the half-century anniversaries for the Acrosport, an aerobatic biplane designed by EAA founder Paul Pabarezny, the automotive-powered KR-1, the Very Vigan, and the classic Vans RV. The Very Vigan represents one of Burt Rutan's most inimitable designs, a distinctive silhouette at airports across the country to this day. The rare Dyke Delta and affordable Flybaby will celebrate their 60th anniversaries, too. Owners are encouraged to pre-register as soon as possible, given the limited extent of parking, special events, and type-specific flight line arrangements that may be in the works. For owners with classic kit planes, AirVenture is probably the only time they can see even one more of their same make and model, not to mention a dozen. Well, that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.